talk to the mayor. Irene, I know you're standing by. Go ahead. You're yes. talking with Mayor Nenshi live. Yes, just a bit of background uh, for the listeners. Um, I am referring to Midfield Trailer Park. Mm -hmm. This is a trailer park up uh, near on 16th Avenue in a beautiful, sure. beautiful spot that was operating for 40 years, owned by the city of Calgary, and it was sold from under the people that had lived there. Oh, no, no, that's not, that's not quite right, Irene, but keep going. Promised, let me finish, please. It's not been sold and at all, by the way, just to correct you. Point. Don't interrupt me. Um, the, the, with the promise that there would be another trailer park built for them. Unfortunately, the majority of these people had lived in the trailer park for 40 years, up to 40 years. Most of the trailers would never, ever uh, have been able to be moved anywhere. And so the city, from my understanding, said to them, well, here's $10,000, you know, find someplace else to live. So and your I question for the mayor, from, Irene, then what, is, what specifically would you like is, the mayor to answer for you? What well, specifically? Well, the question is, what has the city of Calgary done to mitigate this for the people in Midfield Trailer Park, many of whom are senior citizens and have nowhere to go? Irene, is thank you very much, much for your question. We'll hear the response to from them Irene. the Syrian refugees. Irene, thank you for your thank question. You. We'll have a response from the mayor. It's a really important question. So let me clear up a couple of misconceptions. The city hasn't sold the land uh, in any way. What had happened was when that land was built, not by the city, the city ended up with it. It was built uh, in a very, very difficult way in that unlike every other neighborhood in the city, the water pipes run under the homes. And those are now 60 year, 50, 60 year old pipes and they are failing. We're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a year on duct tape and band-aids um, to make sure that people can have safe, clean water. We just can't fix it. And in order to fix all of the pipes means moving all the trailers anyway. So to Irene's point, uh, the city, before I was mayor, had originally said, we'll build you a new trailer park. But the majority of people we talked to in Midfield said, we don't want to move there. Either our trailers can't be moved, or it's in a location we're not interested in, uh, we just don't want to go. And so building the new trailer park would have been a terrible mistake, both financially but also socially, to have this huge trailer park with just a few people living in it. So after much, much debate and discussion and talking with the citizens, council decided that we would close midfield. So we gave people, and under the Landlord Tenant Act, by the way, you only have to give 30 days notice, which is inhuman. So we actually gave three years of notice we provided cash compensation for everybody, as well as assistance in moving your trailer to an existing trailer park if you wanted to do that. We're also working with a couple of different proponents who want to build a privately operated trailer park within the city, and I'm hoping we can make those move very, very quickly. The other thing we offered to every single resident was one-on-one -on -one counseling with experts to sit down and develop a plan for your own family. Where you want to live, what you want to do, how we can help you do that. I'm actually sorry to say that not very many residents have taken us up on that counseling. Most of them have either figured it out on their own or are still wondering where to go. But that offer is certainly still open uh, and I hope that people will take us up on it. And I read we